Hi, I'm Jake again. I make now the Dihara. And I begin with the first one. The first one is um, Demonic. Demonic is, uh, I find, not a good movie. Um, only the uh, the only thing is uh, about that movie is that it's very suspenseful, but there's nothing else. Yes, um, now um, I then I introduce you Dance of the Dead. It's uh, really funny that movie. Um, it is funny, um, horror, very, very good movie I find, um, it's in the nice steelbook edition and, uh, yes, like American Pie meets Dawn of the Dead, very cool movie and really funny, yes, then, we came to Dark Ride. Dark Ride. It's not a good one for me. Uh, the only thing uh, is that the special effects are very, uh, very good, and um, it's a very bloody slasher. Yes, and um, yes, but I find it not so good. Yes, then we came to one of the best. Movies ever. Um, this movie made a made the best a maker of zombie movies. It's Dawn of the Dead, the exclusive director's cut. And it. What should I say about that movie? It's the best. It's one of the best zombie movie. Ever. I love that movie. It is really cool. And um, yes, um, everybody must see that movie because it is a really cool horror movie. Yes. Um, suck. So now we came to a cult, from, a cult classic movie again. It's called Day the Dead Alive, Brain Dead. The movie from Peter Jackson, it's the Anker version. It's not easy to get this here in Germany, but uh, this movie is an absolutely must see for every horror fan of the world. Dad and Life is really cool movie, yes. Then we came to a shark movie, and it's really good. It's a little bit of action too. It is Deep Blue Sea. The movie is very good. I love the sharks. The um, cast is very good too. Thomas, the Punisher Jane, LL Cool J, Samuel L. Jackson. A really good movie, yes. The effects are good, everything is good. It's a little bit action movie in those two, but um, the sharks in here make it to an animal horror. Yes, then we came to a movie uh, from Rob Zombie. It's uh, The Devil's Reject. The Devil's Reject. It is uh, more like an um, action movie, I find. Um, but they call it here that a horror movie. I don't think so. It is a horror movie. It is more an action movie with a lot of gore and violence. Very, really violent in here. Yes, it's more like an action movie. But uh, this movie is really good. Um, yes, then we came to a classic movie again. It's called The Thing on German Dusting. Uh, in the Anker version. Uh, it's a really cool horror movie, and yes, John Carpenter and Kurt Russell made a really good movie. I, this is really good movie. Yes, uh, then we came to 
a movie to a game. That movie is really good, I find. It's with Carl Urban and The Rock. It's The Doom. Doom, I love Doom. It's very cool, especially the ego person uh, or the first person um, shooter in the end. It is really nice and um, it's an absolutely cool movie with the cool uh, The Rock and Carl Urban. Really cool. And I must show you something about that. With an autograph from Carl Urban. Which I get uh, at the Star Trek preview. Yes. Um, then we came to a um, very classic Dracula movie. You see, in the D, a, very, uh, a lot of uh, classic movies. It's Bram Stoker's Dracula. It's a nice horror movie. And uh, really suspenseful. The effects are very good. And um, yes, um, very good movie. For me. Yes, then we came to another Dracula movie. It's from my. Uh, it's from um, the mastermind behind Scream. It's Wes Craven's presents Dracula. This movie is not a good, but and it's not bad. This movie you can see it makes fun, and it's okay that movie. Yes. Yes. Now we came to a movie from a Stephen King book. It's Dreamcatcher. Dreamcatcher. It's not a good movie. No, the effects are good, but this is the only thing. And yes. I find it not good. Yes, um, but now we came to drive through. Drive through. It's the uncut version. You don't get this here in Germany in the uncut version. When you get this, it is cut. And um, or you can't get this movie. Yes, drive through is a nice horror movie. Um, Really good special effects and uh, a lot of good things. It's from the producers of Saw and Saw 2. Yes, the movie makes fun to see that. And it's okay, it's a good movie. Yes, now we came to a teeny slasher. Just a moment. So, it's the teeny slasher. Urban Legends or German Düstere Legenden. That's why it's so early. And this um, movie, it's not. A, it's okay, that movie. And uh, here plays Robert England again. And uh, yet, yeah, it's a nice uh, movie. It is really atmosphere, good atmosphere. Every that movie is really good. Then we came to the second part. This second part is uncut. You can get the cut version, but this is really uncut. Uh, this movie, I must say, it's not uh, a bad one. And uh, yes, it's nice to see that movie. And it's nice to see um, the sexy Eva Mendes. Yes, and then we came to the third part. The third part, um, it's um, not the best of that Urban Legend trilogy. Uh, good special effect and one kill is very cool, very cool but uh, this is not the best one. Yes. And then we came to the last D movie. It's called Dying Week. You see, in the uncut version, Dying Greed is uh, okay, that movie. Uh, the effects are very good too. And yes, you can see it, it's not a bad one. Yes, um, thanks for watching. That, thanks that you see the D update. And in the next time, I'll present you the E horror. And yes, thanks for watching.